You may hold my fate in your hands like a small bird, but I still think you're an ass. You want to get a beer? It's like 10.30 in the morning. Yeah, you seem like you could use a beer. Let's get a beer. Favorite place? Upstairs, there's this mural of wildflowers, and I like to sit on a bench in front of it. Really? It could be anywhere in the world. Paris, Hawaii, the Grand Canyon. Nope, just the bench in front of the mural. What about like an actual meadow where wildflowers are? Ew, Anne, I'm scared of bees. Mural. Hey, I never get to tell you the rest of my ideas. You want to go somewhere and talk about them? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to. Um, let me get some actual food and then, um, do you know that wildflower mural up on the second floor? Mm-hmm. Yeah? You want to meet there? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Mm. I don't know if the online thing is for me. I prefer to meet people in person. How long have you been sleeping with Ben? That's disgusting and wrong. I don't even get, why would, I, I've never had sex with anyone anywhere. It's none of your, you have the nerve, the audacity. Ben is my boss, technically, and he is terrible face-wise. And how, how do I know, frankly, that you're not sleeping with him? Maybe you are, maybe you're trying to throw me off. Hmm, check and mate. This is an outrage. Who do I call? Hey, 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 hey. hey. Hey, Ron, hey. listen, you're just who I was looking for. Are you, did you forget the, um, did you, can, can I get that thing? Can we just, uh, did you bring it? Mm. This isn't convincing. I know I've been acting really weird lately, and um, I really like you. What I'm about to say is gonna contradict the idea that I really like you, I know. but that so won't just change. open the box. Please stop breaking out the box, okay? Leslie? You're being really nice, and what I'm about to say is gonna make you hate me. Okay, then I'll just open the box for you. Wow. You knew? I figured it out a while ago. I'm sorry, I should have told you I knew, but I just, I wanted this to last as long as possible. We have to break up. Why? Why do we have to break up? Well. Leslie, everything you've accomplished, you have earned and you have worked for. I don't want anyone to think that you got where you are today by sleeping with your boss. But I really like sleeping with my boss. Yeah, yeah. You know, the meeting that Ben and I had, it's on the record. You should take a look at the last page of the transcript. Mr. Wyatt. Chris, for God's sake, would you mind not jumping for a little while? Mr. Traeger, sorry, Ben, but... This is how I fight depression. Okay, fine, I'll stop. Thank you. Okay, so, you are prepared to resign, effective immediately, and take full responsibility for all the events that transpired at Lowell Sebastian's memorial? Mr. Wyatt, that is correct. That is correct. Mr. Traeger, okay, fine. This makes me sadder than I previously thought humanly possible, but I accept your resignation. Can I ask you one more question? Was all this, all the, the sneaking around, the scandal, losing your job, was, was it worth it? Yes. It was. Because I love Leslie. I want to be with her, and I don't want to hide the way I feel about her anymore. So, yeah, it was worth it, because I'm in love with Leslie. No. Mr. Traeger, that was beautiful. I'm literally crying and jumping. Crying noise, crying noise, nose blow. Mr. Wyatt, it's gonna be okay. Mr. Traeger. Oh. Let it out, I guess. In transcript. Hi, honey, how was your day? Oh, I've had better. How about you? I can't believe you did that for me. Well, I was pretty sure it was going to happen one way or the other. I hope it doesn't affect your campaign. Don't worry about that right now. No. There was a piece of testimony that came out during the trial that I think you'd be interested in. Ethel? <laughs> Ethel, could you please read page 132 of the official testimony? Ethel Beavers. The official record has now annoyingly been reopened so that Leslie Nope can make a statement. Leslie Nope, let the record state that I, Leslie Nope, love Ben Wyatt. 
I love him with all of my heart. Did you get that? Ethel Beavers. Yes, I got it. Thank you, Ethel. Can I get a ride home? It's freezing. Well, my boyfriend might not be moving back for a while, so I have to back out. Just wanted to look at it one more time. You know, I can't give you your deposit back. I know. And there's a $300. All right, Martha. <laughs> I get it. Actually, is there a way I could put down like a... Hey! Hey. I didn't know you were coming back here. Oh. What are you doing? Oh my God, what are you doing? I'm thinking about my future. I am deeply, ridiculously in love with you. And above everything else, I just, I, I want to be with you forever. So Leslie, nope. Will wait, you? wait, okay? okay? Just, I need to remember this. Sure. Give me a second. Okay. Leslie, no, 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 hold on. Okay. Just, I need another second, please. I need to remember every little thing about how perfect my life is right now at this exact moment. Okay. <laughs> Are you good? Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Leslie, nope. Will you? Yes. <laughs> Marry me? Oh, yeah. OK, great. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say some stuff about Leslie? In my time working for the state government, my job sent me to 46 cities in 11 years. I lived in villages with eight people rural farming communities, college towns. I was sent to every corner of Indiana. And then I came here and I realized that this whole time I was just wandering around everywhere, just looking for you. Leslie, do you wanna say some stuff about Ben now? Okay, well, the first draft of my vows, which I wrote the day after we got engaged, clocked in at around 70 pages. Oh. oh. But I, I don't have them with me today. Oh, boy. Well, maybe there's a copy of them in my office. Oh. Oh. No. That's fine. No. That's fine. I think we can just keep going. Okay. Here's what I'll say, though. The things that you have done for me to help me, support me, surprise me, to make me happy, Go above and beyond what any person deserves. You're all I need. I love you and I like you. I love you and I like you. And now, with the power vested in me by the state of Indiana, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> you may now kiss the, well, yes. oops. Woo! Okay. I have gathered you all here today because I have an announcement, a very big announcement about my future. I will be heading to lunch today with my husband at JJ's diner. We will eat waffles, and then we will go home and make out on our couch. That is my future, for now. It's been an honor to serve this town. And I will cherish the memories forever. Thank you. There you have it, a shockingly unshocking press conference in which a recently unemployed woman said nothing of importance. I'm purred happily, and I just realized I'm not holding my microphone. Jen Barkley telling me I had a future was the best present I could have gotten. Thank you. You're welcome. But I did get you one other present to take your mind off all this. Oh, you are the sweetest man in the world. Where is it? Well, it's not here. We have to go get it. Je ne veux pas travailler, je ne veux pas déjeuner, je veux seulement nous. In times of stress or moments of transition, sometimes it can feel like the whole world is closing in on you. When that happens, you should close your eyes, take a deep breath, listen to the people who love you when they give you advice, and remember what really matters. And if you have the ability to go to Paris, by all means, 
go to Paris. I found one. Oh, great. Right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 